Hi all, this is Fernando. Uh, in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to create an amino inclusion pass here in Reefer for SketchUp. We don't have these options available yet in Reefer for Rhino, so this video only applies for Reefer for SketchUp. I'm using this scene that is from our user Triangan HAP. I don't know the, the real name of this user, but this is one of my favorite ever uh, scene render. Uh, using Viva for SketchUp. Um, he also uh, placed the scene in our forum, so I'm using this scene for this scene for uh, the video tutorial, and all the credit for the scene is, is for uh, for him. So going back to SketchUp, uh, I want to show you my options. Uh, I'm using in my global switches the everything by default. Also in my main sample, I have the adapted DMC. I'm using Adapted DMC because Adapted DMC is better when you have a glossiness material, a glass material, with a reflection and refraction material. That's why I'm using Adapted DMC. If you don't have glossiness material or if you don't have glass, the, be the best solution is Adapted uh, Subdivision. So also I'm using the, uh, the sun system and the sky in my uh, GI color and background colors. I'm using the physical camera to uh, control the exposure of the sun. And in my uh, indirect illumination, I'm using as a primary uh, bounce uh, gradient maps and as, as a secondary engine light cache. Okay, uh, as soon as you click render, I will not click render because I don't want to spend uh, too much time in the rendering process, but I already uh, saved the, the final render for you guys. So, uh, as soon as you click render, you are going to see this kind of render. As you see, we have the sun system uh, coming in this way. Uh, but in this in the scene, I'm losing some details in the corner because my because my quality are very low. Uh, but even with the very high quality, you can lose some details, especially in the corner and in the small um, areas, like in this and the ceiling in this area here. So uh, the purpose of ambient occlusion is to pop off or to increase the real limbs in the in the scene by increasing the details in the in the area. If you uh, go to our uh, big guy, you are going to find the uh, ambient occlusion under the indirect illumination rollouts, and we have basically three options there: the radius that determines the amount of area where you want the the ambient occlusion effects. Um, the subdivision is a quality. Every single time that we uh, speak about subdivision in V-Ray, we are speaking about quality. And also the amount is uh, exactly what the word said, the amount of amino occlusion. But in other words, if you want darker uh, amino occlusion, you have to increase the amount. If you want lighter amino occlusion, so you have to decrease the amount. Okay? But we want to change some parameter in our setting in order to get the ambient occlusion pass. Uh, the first uh, uh, setting is in the global switch. We want to override all the material with white color, pure white color, 255. So I click OK. And also we don't want any other lights that affect my ambient occlusion. The only light that we want to affect the, only, the ambient occlusion is the GI uh, light. So also in my adaptive subdivision, I want to change to adapt. I mean, in my in my sample, I want to change to adaptive subdivision because now we don't have any uh, uh, glossiness material or reflection refraction because we overwrite all the material by white. Also, go. We have to go to the environment and disable the sun because we want only the GI lights. The GI light will lose. Uh, smooth shadows everywhere so we want to use this kind of light in order to create an even um, ambient occlusion effects so also if you want to increase the brightness of the ambient occlusion um, change the multiplier to 2 in both in the GI color and in the BG color also we don't want to use the physical camera to control our exposure anymore because we don't have the sun uh, so disable the exposure control now the physical camera um, will not control the, the exposure of the <coughs> And the last step is going to the indirect illumination and change the radios, enable the indirect illumination on the amylocution. I want to increase the radio to 30 
also the increases of division to 16 and I want to a uh, kind of black amino cushion so I'm going to use 1.5 in my amino cushion so that's it with those with this setting with those settings as soon as, as soon as you click render you are going to have this kind of render and this is exactly the render that we want to achieve after that we save the the amino cushion as JPEG or PNG and the next step is import both render in Photoshop in the final render I also applied uh, some color corrections I applied the background sky um, some um, glow effect here but you can do that in your personal workflow but the thing is you can click you have to click Control A to select everything Control C to copy then go back to the final render and Control V to paste the amino cushion layer to the final render okay going to the layer you have to go to the layers and change the uh, blending mode to multiplier as soon as you change the uh, blending mode to a multiplier you can see that everything get darker but you have to control this uh, darkness with the opacity so let's reduce the opacity a little bit to 20 or even to, uh, to 35 and you can see how this uh, amino cushion improve my quality. Also, you can see how the darkness change or my seams become a little bit darker. Uh, this is because my uh, my amino cushion pass is kind of gray in, in this area in the wall, and I did the kind of white that I have in the background. So I should go to adjust level and increase the white color a little bit uh, this kind of color click ok and now change the blending mode to multiplier and reduce the intensity or the opacity to 35 you can see here how I pop off all the details look, is, look at uh, especially in this area here in this corner or um, even in this uh, corner here in the ceiling you can see when I hide the layer we lost all the details there we don't have the corner here, we don't have the corner in the ceiling so this is a very powerful tool to increase all the details in your scene also you can see here in this corner in this corner how uh, we have more details see without amino occlusion and with uh, amino occlusion also if you see here in the, in the pools in this corner because this corner is very small we lost the details Right now we don't have any details in the corner without the amino occlusion pass, but when I um, enable the layer, you, have, you can see all the details, all the details here in the rock. You can see these sh uh, shadows in the rock and also the, po the the lights here have kind of dirt effects, and this is very cool when you use a uh, amino occlusion pass. You can see how you increase the details and the realms in your scene. No matter that you have a low quality setting you can improve the quality of your scene using ambient occlusion you can see here in this corner how I lost my detail so guys this is uh, all that I have for, for you in this video tutorial remember convert all the material or override the material as white disable all the light including the, the sun and the physical camera and um, enable the amino occlusion so i hope uh, you can enjoy this video and use this workflow in the future bye bye see you next time